to, so that we could get credit. That was very important. Another one was uh, restoring our buildings. That, that needed to be done uh, in the worst way. And the other one was to sell the virtues of the institution to the, war, the wider community uh, of the nation so that we could get the funds necessary and at the same time talk to our local vendors mm -hmm. and ask them to give us time to pay them so that we would get this whole thing together. And all of that fell into place, not necessarily one, two, three mm -hmm. order, but at different times, different ones had priority so that now I can say all of those priorities mm -hmm. have been reached and now what we're talking about is just making sure that we keep that momentum going. Mm -hmm. Very good. You know, Dr. Ponder, I think you've also uh, given us quite a bit of information about some of the things that you're involved in outside of uh, Fish University. <clears throat> and I think as a person who uh, has already indicated that you will be leaving Nashville soon, but, uh, but you will still make Nashville your home base, uh, you are certainly still concerned about what goes on in Nashville. And I think that there's a, 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 a great issue dealing with the economy of Nashville that uh, is being speculated uh, now and this will be shown just before that, and that is the uh, stadium issue. And let's have you this morning to, uh, from a point of view of an economist, from the point of view of a person who has been involved with a large number of people dealing with financing and whatnot in the uh, uh, state of Tennessee, how do you see the issue of the stadium? Well, Dr. Haney, bringing the Houston Oilers, who will become the Nashville Oilers, to Nashville is a tremendous plum. Uh, we ought to do all that we can to help the mayor and the legislature bring that about. One of the things that you have to have if you get a pro football team is a stadium in which to play. Mm -hmm. We do not have one, so we have to build one. I think when you look at it, uh, it, it's going to bring a number of people into the city for the games every weekend when we have them. It will start new businesses in town, so the economy of this city is going to pick up, no question about that. Now, as I see it, persons who may be against this move are looking at it from the standpoint of the money that we put into a stadium, mm -hmm. we could put that $140 million into higher education or some other project that, that really needs that. And let me say, education needs a lot of money in this city and this state. I would agree with that. But I think what we're forgetting is this is not a, an either or. If we don't take the orders, we'll put that money into higher education. If we do take the orders, we're not going to put it into higher education. That's not the case. If we miss the orders, we'll also miss a chance mm -hmm. to improve higher, higher education and all of education in this country because of a tax base and all of those mm -hmm. things coming in. Uh, and the tax base is not necessarily on the stadium. Mm -hmm. The tax base is on all the people who spend overnight in this city mm -hmm. paying taxes, their, their hotels, their motels, mm -hmm. uh, their restaurants purchasing for the neighbors, from the stores and all of that. All of this is taxed. When that tax goes in, it's outside of what the normal mm -hmm. people would do. Therefore, we get more income. So what I would say here is that we ought to support the mayor and all the persons for this. Let's understand what the others are concerned about. And I would say again to the mayor and others, mm -hmm. let's listen to the opposition and let's find a way to see if we can't meet mm -hmm. what they are trying to say to us because we really need to do more for mm -hmm. other things in this town mm -hmm. except pro athletics mm -hmm. and I'm not against it but we must do some other things also mm -hmm. and, and, and so you find you, you feel that uh, when we go down the street and we see uh, signs on hotels and whatnot that uh, many people involved in the uh, entertainment uh, the restaurant industry and etc should be in favor of this because it would probably improve their situation no doubt it definitely should do that and uh, you know, it's always a question of, some, I guess, someone feels that they're not a part of this. Mm -hmm. And that's always the case. It almost doesn't matter what you're doing. Somebody is not going to be a part of it, or at least feel they're not. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm pleading, my plea to uh, the, the mayor and others, listen to the opposition and let's find a way to meet some of the Very things good. they are opposed to. Very good. And we'll be back with you following this commercial break. 